My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here, back at you with another review for Arrow Season 4. And this is the second episode titled Candidate, which this episode we see an old family friend of Oliver and Thea's named Jessica Danford, who recognizes that Green Arrow and Speedy have been trying to protect the city. And just for the fact that the past three mayors have been killed, she decides to run for mayor herself. But when she announces it publicly, her daughter gets kidnapped after there was an attack at her conference, I guess you could call it. And she's kidnapped by Lonnie Mackin which I can guess he works for Damien Dark, but Damien does not agree with anything that he did about it. Which, you know, he says he doesn't answer to order, he answers to anarchy. Which, I guess, I guess that makes Damien a lot smarter, more coordinated, and he mentions how Lonnie, he's sloppy which I can kind of see a complete difference. But also in the episode, uh, we see throughout that uh, Thea is experiencing some of those side effects from the Lazarus Pit that Oliver was warned about. But the thing I wonder is why did it take six months? I mean, Jason Todd was done the exact same way. He was dead. He was brought completely back from the grave. And he went crazy. He went crazy. So I was kind of expecting Thea to have gone crazy shortly after and not six months. And I don't consider six months as a short time period. So I kind of wonder on that. But the thing I predict um, that there is no taking away these side effects. This is just something that she's probably going to have to live with for the rest of her life. But uh, also we see that Felicity is having to deal with her own problems over at Palmer Tech, which it seems like um, they've gotten to a point where they decide to fire so many people just to keep on going on, which, um, you know, she kind of doesn't like that. And I can understand, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather everyone keep their job, no matter what. Because there are people that are provide for families, you know, people that need their job to do what they do, to provide, to pay the bills, to keep going on with their life. Which I can understand where Felicity is coming from, because I think anyone like would be like that, if put in that position. But uh, thanks to Curtis Holt, one of the new characters for the season, um, found a, a going to find a way to be able to allow pe everyone to keep their jobs, which that's pretty much the gist of this episode. Um, things I like from this episode, uh, that stuff with Thea was kind of like some stuff from uh, Under the Hood, Under the Red Hood, because of, you know, the stuff with her has been sort of them doing Jace, how they did Jason Todd when he came back because he was dead. Which, you know, I'm kind of interested in seeing where this goes with that. And also the fact that this episode had two previously announced characters shown in the same episode. Uh, Lonnie, he's known as Anarchy, which you may know him from the the recent game from a couple of years ago, Bat Batman Arkham Origins. And also Curtis Holt, which he's referred to in the comics as Mr. Terrific. Not a, not a character I'm familiar with, but I do know the name. And hopefully with the show, it maybe it could be some sort of setup for him to become a hero, just like last season was kind of that's what they were doing with uh, Ray Palmer. So maybe we could see that this season. But 
the that final scene. Yeah, you could definitely uh, see that uh, some questions are going to get answered. It's pretty much setting up. It's going to be setting up uh, Sarah's resurrection in Heroes of Tomorrow. Which, you know, I'm kind of wondering because there's another character that is revolved with a resurrection. Not kind of say names, but I kind of wonder what more is going to come about on his appearance in the show. I kind of wonder on that, but I'm totally excited for it because I know what the character is, and he's one of my favorite DC characters. So I get a get a nerdgasm just thinking about that appearance, and it's not too far off. Not too far off. At least it's in this half of the season. So that's the good thing. But that's pretty much my entire thoughts. Like I said, I would say this is a, a great episode. Definitely interesting. Uh, it seemed like it half explored on, you know, Thea and the Lazarus Pit, you know, and the other half of, you know, Star City needing a mayor. And I gotta mention, love the new monologue, because he calls himself Green Arrow. Because there was one guy that kept on saying, Oh, I'm not going to watch it until he literally calls himself Green Arrow. Um, okay. Stephen Mel called himself Green Arrow at San Diego Comic-Con. The premiere episode is titled Green Arrow. In the premiere, he called himself Green Arrow. How much more evidence do you need? I mean... Even the even the opening credit opening sequence shows a green arrow. Like like a regular arrow. Not like how it's been for the past three seasons. I mean, how more much more obvious. But that's pretty much my entire thoughts on the episode. Let me know yours down in the comic section below. And don't forget to check check my uh, review for the flash, as well as my other reviews. And as always, my name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.